The James Webb Space Telescope has fundamentally demonstrated the most accurate image to date of Proxima Centauri b, providing amazing insights into what could be a habitable exoplanet. It beckons us to embark on a journey through the universe, to uncover the mysteries of Proxima and Tori b, and examine whether it might be the next Earth. We attempt to explore the vastness of space within which a mysterious planet resides within the habitable zone of its star, Proxima. This planet is unlike any other, not an ordinary rock, but one with extraordinary characteristics. Proxima Centauri b, situated just 4.2 light-years away, is the most widely known Earth-like exoplanet. Covered in mysteries and wonders, could it be a different Earth with life and oceans thriving? At first glance, perhaps, but with Proxima, there is more to the story. The Centauri B system is not unique. It is accompanied by Tauri C and Proxima, all circling the red dwarf star. Who knows what other secrets the star system holds? There may be another companion still, undiscovered. The intrigue deepens. Proxima Centauri emits essentially the same amount of power to Centauri B as the sun does to Earth. Does this imply the presence of water on its surface, perhaps even life? We may be looking at evidence of a habitable planet beyond our solar system. We encounter a brand new realm of exoplanets, planets orbiting stars other than the sun. With an estimated 200 billion stars in the universe, the number of exoplanets may be infinite. Some even wander freely through space, unattached to any star, true travelers across the universe. Among them, one stands out, Proxima Centauri b an especially intriguing and captivating world. This planet's year lasts only 11.2 Earth days, and its proximity to its star is much closer than Earth's distance from the Sun. Indeed, one side of the planet is constantly bathed in sunlight, while the opposite side remains in eternal darkness. Let's investigate Proxima. Proxima Centauri b orbits Proxima Centauri which is part of a triple star system known as Alpha Centauri. This system comprises Alpha Centauri A, Alpha Centauri B, and Proxima Centauri. Together, these stars form the closest stellar system to our own. Alpha Centauri A and B are a binary system of G-type stars, like our Sun, while Proxima Centauri, also known as Alpha Centauri C, is a red dwarf or M-type star just 4.2 light-years away. Though Proxima is our closest stellar neighbor, it cannot be seen with the naked eye. Its visible magnitude is 11.13, significantly dimmer than the human vision limit of 6.5. But don't let that fool you. Proxima is still a star worth studying. Red dwarf stars like Proxima and Tauri are among the most efficient in terms of energy generation. While they do not release large amounts of energy, they are supported by internal convection processes and can remain stable for trillions of years. In fact, Proxima Centauri is expected to continue as a main sequence star for another four trillion years. However, the habitability of a star like Proxima is still up for debate. It is a flare star, meaning it emits low frequency but powerful explosions. Its habitable zone is significantly closer than the sun's, falling within 0.23 to 0.54 AU. Proxima Centauri b, while potentially habitable, is bombarded with intense ultraviolet and X-ray radiation, far stronger than what Earth experiences. This radiation can strip away even the smallest atmospheric particles, including hydrogen, oxygen, and nitrogen. Being in the right position doesn't necessarily mean a planet can support life. Without a stable climate and protective atmosphere, life would be nearly impossible under such extreme space weather conditions. So, although Proxima Centauri b may appear Earth-like on the surface and offers exciting opportunities for scientists, its ability to support life remains in question. Still, it continues to be one of the most closely studied exoplanets, with the James Webb Space Telescope playing a vital role in this research. Released in 2018, the James Webb Space Telescope was designed to determine whether planets like Proxima, Centauri b, have the necessary conditions for life. 
According to theoretical physicist Avi Loeb at Harvard, if a planet like Proxima Centauri b can absorb and re-emit light from its star, particularly in the infrared and ultraviolet, it might be possible to detect signs of water or atmosphere. However, even the presence of an atmosphere does not guarantee life. Astrophysicist Ed Turner at Princeton warns that Proxima Centauri b could have a thick Venus-like atmosphere, dense and hot enough to render life impossible. The journey of deciphering the mysteries of Tori B and Proxima is not without its difficulties, but the James Webb Space Telescope holds promise. The costs of space science must be balanced with its immense potential. Scientists feel an urgent need to study planets like Proxima Centauri B because the stakes are high, but so are the rewards. 2. Investigate the unknown to learn the secrets of a distant planet that may support life. Is it a worthwhile pursuit? If Proxima Centauri B were habitable, could we one day travel there? That is what makes it so fascinating. It's not just the closest exoplanet to Earth, but it is similar in size and lies in the habitable zone. It could indeed offer ideal circumstances for life. Its proximity makes it a perfect target in the search for life beyond Earth and for future interstellar missions. Even if we cannot yet reach it, it is definitely on the agenda for tomorrow. One of the many exciting projects fueled by advancing technology. However, traveling there is no small task. For example, Voyager 2, still operating, would take about 75,000 years to reach Proxima Centauri at its current speed. Thus, alternative. Strategies must be considered, such as ultra-compact space probes propelled by light sails. Reflective Surface A ship could be propelled by using sails. Spacecraft on their way to the Alpha Centauri system, with Proxima Centauri included, could utilize radiation pressure from the sun to maintain their course, removing the need for traditional fuel. Even more intriguing, this advanced method of propulsion may provide insights into the reality of distant life. Worlds like Tori B and Proximus offer promise. However, like all daring concepts, there are restrictions. Simply having an atmosphere does not equate to habitability. Tori B, for example, might resemble Venus, covered in an intensely hot atmosphere that renders the surface uninhabitable. In Desuatu, addition, the James Webb Space Telescope has the ability to detect emissions, even if they contribute only 5% of the brightness of a planet's day side. That might not seem like much, but in light of the dim nature of the host sun compared to our own, it has a significant impact. If Proximus hosts advanced civilizations, they might even use huge orbital mirrors to direct sunlight from the bright side to the dark side of the planet. Forever. Isn't it fascinating that the universe contains a large number of waiting exoplanets? The discovery of these celestial bodies spans a huge variety of sizes and types, from Earth-like planets to massive gas giants. One intriguing type of exoplanet is the gas giant, with a composition similar to Saturn and Jupiter, but frequently much larger. Some are referred to as super-Jupiters, dwarfing even our solar system's largest planets. But that's not all. There are also hot Jupiters, massive gas planets that orbit very close to their host stars. These environments are so hot they might melt metals, as shown in models. Experiencing such a planet in person would mean encountering ferocious storms and scorching heat. There are also gas giants beyond Neptune that resemble Neptune and Uranus. Among them are mini-Neptunes and hot Neptunes, smaller, more compact versions of their gas giant relatives, these planets are frequently shrouded in mystery due to the difficulties of evaluating their atmospheres from afar. Not to be overlooked are Earth-like exoplanets, though similar to our own. These differ in size, ranging from slightly less than Earth's mass to more than twice it. Among them are super-Earths, planets with greater mass but lighter than ice giants, such as Neptune. These are some of the most enthralling exoplanets discovered. One of the most interesting examples is Proxima Centauri b, which orbits the star of the same name. 
It is referred to as a super-Earth, with a mass approximately seven times that of Earth. Despite its location, it might still be too close to its star, placing it beyond the conventional habitable zone. And Proxima Centauri b is not alone. There's a sister star, Proxima Centauri c, located further out in the system. This planet completes one orbit every five Earth years and was discovered in 2020 using data from the Hubble Space Telescope. Even more intriguing is the indication that Proxima Centauri b might be a bright planet, possibly due to a ring system reflecting light. But the suspense doesn't end there. In 2019, astronomers observed a peculiar variation in Proxima Centauri's radial velocity potentially pointing to the presence of a third planet, Proxima Centauri d, estimated to be in the neighborhood of Mercury or Mars in size. Envision, a night sky not only star-studded but filled with alien worlds, each with its own distinctive features, climates, and orbital patterns. The universe is a treasure trove of the unexpected, and exoplanets are among the most fascinating discoveries. With new exoplanets discovered frequently, it's a thrilling time to be a planetologist or astronomer, despite our uncertainty about the precise number. It's evident that exoplanets are as numerous as the stars themselves. However, these distant worlds present significant challenges. They are often obscured by the brightness of their stars, making direct observation extremely difficult. But now, with technological advancements, it's possible to directly image some of them. To achieve this, an exoplanet must be large, distant enough from its star, and young enough to shine in infrared, all very specific conditions. Even these rare glimpses are profoundly instructive. Most exoplanets have been discovered not through direct imaging, but by their influence on their host stars. The gravitational tug of a planet can cause a star to wobble, a phenomenon known as radial velocity. This allows astronomers to detect the presence of planets. NASA's Kepler Space Telescope transformed the field using the transit method, spotting tiny dips in starlight as planets pass in front of their stars. This technique has provided valuable data on planetary sizes, orbital distances, and surface temperatures. Here are some fascinating facts. More than 22% of sun-like stars are thought to host Earth-sized planets in their habitable zones. The TRAPPIST-1 system alone has seven rocky planets, some of which may host liquid water, similar to the moons in our solar system. Many exoplanets likely have exomoons as natural satellites. With more than 4,000 confirmed exoplanets, we know they are common throughout the galaxy. Hot Jupiters remain among the easiest to detect due to their immense size and proximity to their stars. Yet, thousands more planet types await discovery. NASA's James Webb Space Telescope stands out in the effort to reveal cosmic secrets. Each day, this extraordinary observatory continues to collect specific data and stunning images, shedding light on phenomena we previously couldn't even imagine. A recent groundbreaking discovery was the first clear detection of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere of an exoplanet, about 700 light-years away, orbiting a sun-like star. This discovery offers crucial hints about the chemical composition and evolution of that planet. It marks a major milestone in our search for life beyond Earth. NASA Administrator Bill Nelson emphasized that this discovery gives us a whole new perspective on the universe, generating excitement across the global scientific community. And there's more. The James Webb Space Telescope has captured breathtaking images of the universe in infrared. In one instance, it observed an object referred to as 110 IRS-4, which illuminates a wispy cloud of orange-colored material. Behind it lies the glow of distant stars layered with dust and ice. This study is part of the Ice Age Initiative, an investigation into the formation of ice in space, from interstellar grains to icy comets. Additionally, the telescope has imaged, for the first time, the structure of a dusty disk surrounding a nearby red dwarf star, all in stunning detail.